Hey everyone, thanks for watching our Instagram TV and YouTube channel, along with the bonus edition of the new marketing show. I'm here in my gym, EOS Fitness, and you know, damn, sometimes creativity strikes and you gotta run with it. So here we are, here in San Diego, California, in the middle of my workout, doing a quick video. So, <clears throat> you know, we talk a lot about how Trinity is a collaborative and iterative company. I think that that, that word iterative and iteration really throws people off and sometimes it's a little scary and intimidating to people so let me break it down into bits and pieces whenever you hear somebody say iterative or an iteration it just means a, a stage or a phase of a project right so a lot of large projects we do you know we go into it with a lot of assumptions and a hypothesis of how things are going to work what should work what we need to do what we should do etc cetera, etc cetera. A lot of times, what we wanna do in order to save our clients money and build the best product for them is go ahead and say, let's build out phase one into an, a minimal viable product, an MVP, something that in, moves the brand towards a goal. So let's talk about web design right now. So if we do something where web design, where we start to move the brand towards their goal of being creating community, getting higher search visibility or conversion, but we have all these other big ideas that we need to do and we want to execute. What we need to do is we need to get phase one dialed in. We need to get phase one working in, working well for the brand, working well for everything that we think that it should and as it should. Then from there, we can start talking about phase two. Now, of course, we're gonna build phase one with phase two in mind, knowing that we're gonna go that way. So whatever we make, we're gonna make scalable. But at the same time, we need to go ahead and make sure that everything can play well with one another. And we have to go ahead and prove our point, improve our concept before moving forward and investing more dollars. It doesn't make sense sometimes to invest dollars in something. It never makes sense to invest dollars in something that does not work. So let's prove that it works. When we tackle phase two, it allows us a chance to review and refine phase one so that when we repeat the process during phase two, we go ahead and we make sure that we're dialed in. So whenever you hear iteration or iterative process, just think about taking things in bite-sized chunks that you can choose, that, that you, you know, can, can stomach and that you can work with because you know, maybe there's budgetary con constraints, maybe there's different ideas, maybe there's other methods, maybe there's other buy-in that we have to get in before we go ahead and we run with the big project. You know, some of the best projects I've ever worked on in my life, you know, Phoenix Children's Hospital, Convince and Converts blog, uh, marketingpodcast.com, uh, St. Luke's Healthcare, they've all been iterative projects. Meaning, we go ahead, we launch something, we make sure that it works, we review the data, we make tweaks and refine things, we go ahead, we repeat the process and add to the site because the phase one is scalable, in phase two, and then we go back and do it again. So. This is a kind, a way that's kind to the budget also because a lot of these phases take a certain amount of time. So if you adhere to an iterative process, don't be afraid. Or if somebody throws out we want to run with an iterative process, don't be afraid of that. Just break that down into saying what phases, what do you plan on doing in phase one? What do you want to do in the first part of the project? And then plan according. So think when you hear iteration, think stages and phases. Hey, thanks for watching. And of course, you can subscribe to our podcast where we talk more about this at trinitywebmedia.com slash iTunes. Talk to you later.